Hello everyone, I'm Terry Copeland Pearsons. What a great day to be alive. What a great day to be alive in America. And what a great day to have set aside for us to be one voice, one body united together in prayer, in faith for America. You know, it's something when you think about how that the Bible tells us that all of us have been raised together, made alive together, and seated with Christ in heavenly places, all of us. And imagine the sound of that one voice of the body of Christ before the throne of God declaring the word of the Lord and the will of God for America. You know, something that crossed my mind a few moments ago was in Acts chapter 4, and this is a great chapter for a lot of things, and one of it says the company of believers was of one heart and one mind, one heart and soul together, very focused. And that's what we're doing together with believers all over the world for America. But also a few verses before that, speaking of the disciples that had been uh, arrested, and it said they were permitted to go and they returned to their own company. There's something about being a part of your own company. So while God has different assignments for all of us in the church, we're all praying together, I want to remind you what our part is. Our part here at Kenneth Copeland Ministries, Eagle Mountain International Church, and people who have got their eye on the Word of God and the Word of God in faith. And that is this. I heard my dad say this a few days ago said, you know, uh, a lot of people believe America is in trouble and not to say that she's not. But she's not in as much trouble as you might think she is. And why? Because we're here. Because the church of, of the living God, the body of Jesus, the anointed one, is alive and is well and is rising in strength. We're going up, not down. And because America belongs to us, America is our God given uh, provision uh, from heaven to preach the gospel with, wherever we go, we're taking America with us. So as we pray right now, we're going to pray for the church. We're going to pray for the awakening of the church to recognize where she's been seated with Christ in heavenly places and her authority and as a believer and authority as the church, <laughs> oh my goodness, and authority in faith over this nation. And our eye is always looking up, never looking down unless we're looking down on the problem. Heavenly Father, we pray over the United States of America. And Lord, we pray for the church inside America. We pray that the church would, would awaken greater and greater and greater still to the position that we have before the very throne of God, the position that we have of authority to speak words of faith, words of life, words of awakening, power, boldness, righteousness, holiness, purity, strength, and the move of the Spirit in America because of the work of Jesus on the cross, the work of God in the resurrection, His seating at the right hand of the Father, and our seating with Him. Lord, we thank You that the church is awakening this very hour to who we are in Jesus.